If you've ever had the unfortunate incident of having water damage caused by your main condensate line along with your emergency condensate line and your air conditioning unit being both clogged, or you want to prevent that in your own home, this video is for you. I'm Margaret from Just Needs Paint, and today I wanted to share with you one of the main reasons why you could have a clog in your emergency condensate line. Now this is mostly specific to you where dirt dauber populations exist. This right here is a dirt dauber nest. It is basically like having a softball in my hand right here where it is a dense piece of mud. And you compare that to a normal wasp nest, which is really delicate. And I mean, it's like paper. You can just smash it in your hand. Why does this matter to you? Well, your emergency condensate line is a three-quarter inch line that is open air and any kind of pest can easily set up shop. It's rarely used because generally you're using your main condensate line. Well, the main condensate line could get clogged. It could have dust from your insulation. Perhaps you have leaky ducts or just the general dust and debris that happens inside of the air that's attempting to get cleaned out by the air conditioning system. Well, that could clog your main condensate line, along with perhaps on a very hot and humid day where you have condensation building up along with, I mean, your air conditioning is just constantly running and then your condensate line freezes. So you're relying on that backup line that if clogged up with this, there's no other place for the water to go but to fill up that water pan and overflow into your home. So we were really intrigued when we found the Dauber Stopper at the Houston Home Show, it's a really intriguing, it's a really exciting new product on the market. And you can see here, this is the main, the main piece right here where it's a filter-like piece where water ha there's plenty of space for water to come out, but there's not enough space for insects to go in. And it's also easy enough that you can simply spin it off once it's attached and clean it out when needed very new and innovative product on the market right now. So I'll show you how to install it. Now there are two ways to install the dauber stopper. The first involves a reducer. All you have to do is spin it on and put it into place. And I should add here that there is a line inside where it will stop you from going too far, but it seats really well. But that's pretty much it, spin it on put it on that three quarter inch line and you're good to go. The second method involves a flange. Gets it a little closer to the house. You'll install the flange with these four, four screws that do come with a stopper as well. And all you do is put it in place and then you spin this on and you're good to go there and it ends up looking similar but it's a closer it's a closer fit to the house in either case both directions both ways are super fast and you're out in just a couple of seconds if you use the first method if you've ever had the unfortunate incident of having water damage from mud daubers in your condensate line you know this is no joke so finding a solution like this that's pretty easy to install. It's super fast as well as compare $20 to your average $7,500 water damage claim. It just makes sense. So if you're interested in the product, check out the description below because I've got the link there as well as if you have experienced this for yourself, if you have talked to your AC tech when they've blown out the line, what did they find? Please add that to the comments below. We can share that unfortunate experience to find out what is really in our lines. Along with, uh, please subscribe and like this video to support more videos like this. And remember, every project is more than just needs paint.